this choral group has opened up my musical side. The choir surprised me and I was surprised at how I was reacting to the music. Just incredibly proud of the choir. There's been an incredible growth over this last year. But I will also say, I think the part that just really impressed me about the group was they traveled really well. You know, it's never a perfect thing when you travel. And um, with 82 people, there's 82 possible screw ups and 82 possible divas or complainers. And no, just none of that happened. Everybody really, really, uh, really worked well together. I think we discovered something on this trip that we might not have known. I think as much as we like performing and doing concerts, anything that has a bit of a charity connection just moves our souls. I thought our visit up to St. Columbanus, the home for the retired, uh, that was wonderful. I don't know whether you realized the impact it had not just on the patients but on the staff. The nurses were coming, they were all very busy but yet they were coming up to me and they were as they were rushing to look after a patient and they said this is wonderful, you don't know how much it means to us to have you all here. I think it's safe to say that whatever we do next we're going to be looking for some charity otherwise what's the point? That it's more than just singing, it's more than just performing that we're trying to reach people that maybe need something more. And today, we were dog tired, yet we gave a great performance for the Sisters of St. Louis, and we all felt really fulfilled by that. Several people had teachers that were Sisters of St. Louis that were there, and that they met them. That was an emotional thing. And here we are on the other side of the world, and we have that connection. We have the music. We have the friendship. We have the camaraderie and the family. We were having that night out in the pub and suddenly you broke out into song and I was watching all the people sitting at tables and some a lot of couples, you know, couples who've been married a long time were sitting there looking at each other, no conversation. And suddenly they all kind of sat up, smiled and, you know, they loved your music. This was a good start-up of the new era of the choir because the old guard has changed. And now we get new people in. And these trips are where we form the camaraderie and we form the friendships that hopefully will last for another 30, 40 years. You may have to roll me into church in 40 years. Most of the uh, younger folks that have come in now realize how close you can all become, become like family.
it's nice to start making our own memories, our own really wonderful memories that are now, it's all part of our shared experience. So we, we are connected in, in a way we wouldn't have been had it not been for the trip, had it not been for all the years that led up to it. We saw people coming together that didn't know each other so well, and it was, it was a great pleasure to, uh, to help facilitate that and to see that. And quite frankly, I was a little surprised. I, did, I didn't know for sure. I had a good feeling, but uh, to really see it come to fruition in the way that it did was uh, very rewarding. And that is the part of the legacy that this whole choir will have. And it's, it's an excellent thing, excellent thing. I hope it continues for many, many years. On Senior Gallagher, you know, he hosted us for that wonderful lunch at the lakes, but he pulled me aside and he said, my God, Jim, this is a real family event. I said, yes, that's what we wanted. So it's family with, a, I guess, a capital F, and in every sense of the word, uh, maybe that's the best way to characterize this whole thing, it was family, kind of from the, from, in every sense of that word.